Okay everybody, so here's the plan today. I'm gonna kind of do a gear rundown. Um, I wrote an article about this on DIYWhitetail.com. This is the YouTube page, so I'm gonna kind of pair up articles and and videos. That's the plan. Today's gonna be a two-part video, hopefully two parts. Uh, the first part will be about my gear. Uh, the second part will hopefully be some footage of some summer scouting that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out and look into my food plot. Um, this evening I have some beans and some uh, sorghum planted, so maybe we'll be able to get some footage of some velvet as well tonight. Say hello to my buddy over there. That's Tuck. That's my uh, my running buddy, my blood trailer, my duck fetcher. He's everything. So it's June 18th. I'm here in, in East Texas on my farm that I hunt. It's a uh, warm, hot day. We're going to be summer scouting this uh, this soybean field or soybean food plot that I have here. It's about a quarter of an acre of, uh, of soybeans and cow peas and sorghum and stuff like that. Last year there was a nice group of uh, a nice bachelor group of A points that came in here. One of them in particular is a buck that I called Waldo. As in, where's Waldo? Um, he evaded me all season. Never saw him on the hoof. Got tons of pictures of him. He was on this uh, food plot all summer long. Um, hopefully he'll be coming back again. I'm curious to see what he looks like this year. So uh, let's see how this goes. Touch back in with you afterwards. Well, it looks like that's going to be the end of uh, today's scouting. Nothing came out um, soon enough. No, it looks like there's still some light, but when you zoom into the food plot, you can't really see anything anymore. So I'm going to pack it home. Let's start off with some safety equipment. Uh, I haven't got this one out of the box yet, but this is a Lifeline by Hunter Safety System. Um, I use these in more locations that I that are going to stay there. This doesn't really work in a mobile setup if you're going up once and down. It, the extra rope doesn't really help you any if you're not climbing down without your stand. So that's the uh, the, the Lifeline by Hunter Safety System. I wear a muddy harness, safety harness. I like it's got the uh, the bino clips here. This is really convenient. Um, it's a really slim, comfortable, lightweight. It's got a lot of pockets. It's got a it's got a pocket back here in the back too. It's really nice to have in the field. So that's the harness I use. I use uh, Muddy's lineman's rope with a Prusik knot to get up and down for, for safety. I use a tree strap with a carabiner on it. It's just a lot more simple to do it that way, so that's what I use. Now let's get into packs. It depends on what hunt I'm doing, what kind of hunt I'm doing. Um, if it is a hunt out of my safe, out of my uh, my lone wolf tree stand, then I'll use a fanny pack. I'll show you that in a second. But when I'm hunting out of my trophy line tree saddle, I use this pack here. This is the Insights. Um, it's made to use a, carry a bow or a uh, rifle of some sort. But what I actually do is I will put my step ladder steps that Wildlife Edge makes now to the gym step ladder steps in this with my camera arm and uh, other things like that, maybe some other gear. And then I just strap all that down tight. And then it has this whole entire backpack here to put other stuff in like cameras, uh, you know, grunt tubes, rattling bags, whatever, whatever you might want to use that day, some food, some water, something like that. It also has a, this will also hold your quiver. So that's really convenient. Um, and you know you can put some tree arms or something like that some secondary camo arms and these other straps or you can strap clothes to the bag and then I actually strap my saddle to the bottom I don't like walking in it; it's kind of bulky to walk in so I'll actually strap that to the bottom there so that's one pack that I use <clears throat> I have a couple fanny packs that I use 
if it's really cold, I'll wear this Tenzing pack. Um, it has places for you to put your hands when it's real cold. It's a nice pack, uh, places for hand warmers and stuff like that, and it'll carry just some essential stuff. Um, and I use these when I'm when I'm hunting out of my lone wolf stand. So I don't want to carry a backpack along with my lone wolf, and I'll strap most of what I need to my lone wolf, like my camera arms and stuff like that. I just strap them right to the lone wolf stand. So that's one that's used, and here's just another. This is for when it's warmer out. This is just Allen fanny pack. It's nothing fancy about it. Um, so kind of random accessories here. Um, I just, this is a flex tone. It's got the snort wheeze and the grind. You can do different, you know, buck, doe, anything like that. And then I carry a rattle bag, never use it, but I always carry it just in case. I've used it in Kansas a couple times. Works better up there. Central Texas, it works real well. I've hunted in East Texas my whole life and rattled in one buck, so not very successful. These are Hawks gear hooks. I like them. They have this carabiner that comes with them, and you can just strap it to your bag like that. And then when you want to use it, you just unscrew this deal here from the gear hook, and you can screw it into the tree. I have two of those, and then I have a ton of these bow arms like this. Uh, I like them. They get the bow out away from the tree. Um, if the situation arises where I where I need something like this is what I use, but sometimes I'll just use one of these and ride up next to the tree to keep keep it compact. Pull up rope, nothing nothing fancy about it. This is a great piece of gear here. This is a tree umbrella. If you're hunting public land where you want to hunt all day, and especially to get away from pressure, when it's raining, 90% 90, 90 of the people are gonna stay in the hotel. So it's key when it's raining to have one of these and you can stay in the tree all day. So this is really, it's really nice to have. It straps to the tree, it, you know, it doesn't stick out, and it keeps you pretty dry. All right, Montana decoys, DIY hunting. You need a lightweight pack if you're gonna use decoys. Sometimes I'm a mile and a half, you know, at least a mile away from the parking areas. I'm not gonna lug a huge, um, I'm not gonna lug a huge, decoy in with me. These are great. You just throw them right in your pack. Super lightweight. Easy to use. All right. I use the Hawk Helium climbing sticks. I like them better than the Lone Wolf simply for the fact that you have two steps on one step on each side of the ladder so I can stand on top of this with both my feet right next to each other. I'm able to get higher in these because of that. That's why I use them. They're really lightweight. I have them lined with, with stealth strips here to help keep them quiet. Um, they use, a, all their stuff is pretty quiet to begin with. I need to put some, some hosing or something on these. That's the, the loudest part. But um, other than that, their clips are real quiet and I stealth strip just the main bodies. So that's what I use for my climbing sticks with my lone wolf setup. And my other climbing method is the step ladder by Wildlife or Wild Edge Inc. So I think I said Wildlife earlier. Um, these aren't for everybody, but I really like them, especially when I'm hunting out of my tree saddle. They're just really easy to use out of my tree saddle. I can, and they fit in that backpack, which is the main thing. Um, this whole thing, is 12 steps. I can easily get 20 feet high with these. Camera arm. This is the fourth arrow stiff arm. It's just their basic camera arm. <coughs> Once again, I have it stealth strip. Stealth strips are an absolutely necessary product. I have a Manfrotto um, micro fluid head on here. It's not really micro, but it is super smooth. I have a lighter one that I have on this tripod that I really like just because of the weight, but it's not as smooth as this Manfrotto. And then uh, here's the base for the fourth arrow. And I got it for this right here. You can level this thing on anything. The, 
The limb can be completely sideways and you can level on this. It's got 360 degrees of motion. It's fantastic. <clears throat> I don't use this a lot on public land because a lot of public lands don't allow it. But when I'm hunting around home, I use this Hoyman extendable saw. I have two sizes. I want to have one that goes out to like 10 feet. This one reaches out like five or six feet. Public land, this is the only one I take. And sometimes I just take the saw off for stuff that I can reach in my arms because this thing's kind of heavy and bulky. I don't like to carry it in all the time. <clears throat> now my lone wolf stand. This thing I spend a lot of time on. I have um, these ropes strapped on it with cobra weaves, paracord cobra weaves. This is just to help keep it quiet. Once again, stealth strips. For the backpack straps, I have these molly straps. They're fantastic. And I use the uh, Lone Wolf Easy Hang system for hanging this thing. It's great. Um, this is just a great stand. It's super lightweight, easy to use. And I'll strap my, my helium sticks to this, as well as my camera arm, my camera arm base, and uh, extra clothing, stuff like that. And then I put all my little stuff, like my release and stuff, in my fanny pack when I'm carrying this on my back. That seems to be my favorite way to set up. This is the Lone Wolf Assault 2. <clears throat> oh, another thing. I have this uh, third hand archery product here. This is a, just a, a bow rest. And then I have a uh, quiver holder as well. This is the hot GoPro arm. It screws into the tree. Put your GoPro on it for your second angle. Some stuff that I don't have with me today is uh, all my shooting stuff. Um, it's at my office where I practice shooting on my lunch break or after work or something like that. Um, for my bow, I shoot an Elite um, 32 Energy compound bow. It is a great bow, super forgiving smooth, quiet, everything that you want. It's a 2014 model. So this would be my third season with it. This is 2017. Um, I shoot a single pin, True Glow Sight. Um, I have the Elite Special QAD Fall Away Rest. I don't have a fancy quiver or anything. It's just like a, I don't even know, like a Walmart Special Quiver or something like that. Um, for my release, I have a Cobra Brava Jr. It's a really short release. That way I can get it right where I want it. I did have a longer release and I found that I was way back here on my anchor, so I shortened it. That way I get it on the tip of my nose and it's a lot shorter there. That's my release. Um, my arrows are Carbon Express pile drivers. Um, another thing is my rangefinder. It's a Leupold, Leupold rangefinder. It has the angle adjustments in it. That way when you're really high up, it'll tell you the true distance. Um, and then the other thing I have in my office is my Trophy Line tree saddle. I, uh, <clears throat> I don't have it here because I practice shooting out of it. Um, cause it's, it's different shooting out of a tree saddle for sure. So that's one more thing that's at the office that I don't have here. And the last thing that I had, I didn't show you, I missed it here. My binoculars. These are Zeiss. They're lightweight, compact. Um, this is for a backpack that I have. I can strap it in or on the, the muddy harness. I just clip them in like this and I can move them up and down. These are great binoculars for, for when you need to go out, especially a state like Kansas and you're DIY hunting. These are lightweight, but they really have a reach. They're 10 by 32s. So they see way out there. Um, for this size, they're, they're fantastic. And I, also, you can probably see in the background, I have tons of scent elimination products. I don't think any of the spay, sprays work better than any others. Um, but something that I have started using here recently, nose jammer. Um, I can't necessarily say that I haven't gotten busted but I was on a 10 day hunt in Kansas last year and uh, I didn't get blew out once the whole entire trip. 
Um, those deer are public land, so they have some pressure, but I still didn't get blew out once. And I just put that nose jammer on the base of the tree and on my boots as I'm walking in. It seems to deter them a little bit. I spray down with everything, you know, scent killer products. I keep all my clothes in a uh, in an ozone bag, a scent crusher ozone bag. So that's what I keep all my clothes in. And I run that thing twice a day. I'm constantly, those ozone bags, and that may have been the main contribution to me not getting winded. I washed my clothes before I went, but I hunted for 10 days and didn't get a chance to wash them. And I used that uh, ozone bag and it was fantastic. Um, so that's that's all my gear, if not all of it, most of it. Important thing to say is I have all this gear, but I very rarely take much of it into the field. Um, you know, a lot of times I'm going in the field with my stand, sticks, release, camera, camera arm, and that's pretty much it. Um, if it's an all-day hunt, I'll take more gear just for clothing and things like that. But most of the time, I'm a minimalist. Minimalist, excuse me. Um, so I'm going to take the littlest amount of things into the field as possible. So <clears throat> if you have any questions, um, comment below. Make sure to subscribe to DIY Whitetail. And also go to DIYWhitetail.com to uh, check out the website. I'm going to write articles and stuff. And most of the time, like I said, I'll do an article and a, uh, a video to go along with it. So it'll time out great right that way. So make sure to ask any questions that you have in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.